Knots in three dimensions can be formed by taking a length of string, tying a knot, and fastening the ends. We can understand the properties of this trefoil knot in 3D by marking the places where two different 3D points project to the same point in 2D. An apparent knot that is not a knot deforms smoothly into a circular loop. Objects projected to lower dimensions may look trapped, but can escape by jumping over the apparent obstruction. This 4D loop appears knotted, but a rigid 4D rotation reveals this is not so. There are no knotted loops in four dimensions. In four dimensions, even though loops of string can always be untied, surfaces can be knotted. One family of 4D knots consists of knotted spheres that are formed by spinning a knotted line segment in the fourth dimension to sweep out a surface. Just as we marked crossing points for knotted 3D loops projected to 2D, we can mark crossing curves on the 3D projection of this spun trefoil knot. We can pull out the crossing curves and examine them separately. These curves are not self-intersections in 4D, as we can see by doing small 4D rotations. Drawing the crossing curves on the flat, unfolded surface of the sphere gives us a global picture of their structure. A surprising theorem by Zeeman shows that this object, formed by twisting a 3D knot just once while it spins, is not knotted. Appearances in 4D can be very misleading. Here, again, we use different paints to mark intersection curves nearer to or farther from the 4D viewer. The intersection curves form two separate closed loops. Each loop includes a pair of umbrella-like folding points and there are four triple intersections. Rotating in 4D shows that these curves miss each other completely if you look at them sideways in 4D. On the unfolded spherical surface, we can see the two-loop pattern and the mutual intersections of these complex crossing curves. If we twist a 3D knot more than once as we spin it, we get more complicated objects like this one, which are additional members of the family of truly knotted spheres in four dimensions. To understand the unknottedness of the twist-spun trefoil, we follow a construction by Dennis Roseman that begins by pulling four surface patches up over the domes in tandem. At the top of each dome, a pair of triple points cancels just as the eyelid-like surfaces meet. On the unfolded surface of the sphere, these cancellations transform the curves into two separate circles. The resulting 4D object is a sphere with two pinched-in lines. This object has a smooth 4D deformation to an ordinary unknotted sphere. This spun trefoil is a knot. This twice-twisted spun trefoil is also a knot. This is a once-twisted spun trefoil. Is the twist-spun trefoil a knot? No!